Good morning. It is, hold on. Let me see what time it is. It's only like 7.26. Now, you know guys, I normally don't film at people's houses or whatever, but it's just me and two kids and a dog here and a cat. And there it is. I don't know if y'all can see how hard. Let me see. Look, it is down pouring fucking rain. Look at that. I love that wind chime. Isn't it pretty? It's really pretty at night. But I'm sitting on a side of the house that you won't see from the street. I'm just chilling. But I was in here thinking. A little one's confident. So you don't know what I understand. I don't know what I can. Sometimes it don't make sense. It is downpouring rain, but I was just listening to a song that talks about Can't You See I'm High on Misery? Well, everybody usually finds rain miserable. I find it cleansing. I find it that it's washing away shit of this world. That's what we need. I'll turn your back on me. I won't be ignored. Well, I mean, you can ignore me if you really want to. I mean, that's on you. I'm putting the effort in. You gotta listen to me and like it or not. Right now. You can't say the way I did before. No turn him back on me. I won't be ignored. I have felt this way before. When people were ignoring me when I was trying to talk to them. And they just didn't want to hear what I had to say. One of my sissies gave me those. Gave me a whole outfit that day, except for like underwear. Well, she gave me a bra, but not underwear. Like, you know, panties. Got a dress, bra, sandals, sunglasses. From all from the same person. And they fit me. Perfectly, and I had written down on my needs list. I need clothes that fit me New clothes that fit me mm. Hey Ronnie, here's your song Ronnie Radke. Sorry. It's falling in reverse popular monster. I Wake up every morning with my head up in a daze. I'm not sure if I should say this fuck. I'll say it anyway. Anybody tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. Yeah, I don't know if it's a phase, but I just want to feel okay. Battle with depression, but the question still remains. Is this post-traumatic stress and or am I suppressed rage? Doctor tries to tell me that I'm going through a phase. Yeah, it's not a fucking phase. I just want to feel okay. Okay, struggle with this bullshit every day. And it's probably because my demons simultaneously rage. And obliterates me, centigrates me, annihilates me. I'm about to break. I found a way out, guys. I'm a believer, and, and I was a non believer, but I found my face again. Falling into love now, we're falling apart. And my voice is coming back more and more every day. And look, I ain't scared of the rain. I'll move my MP3 player so it don't get ruined. And we're nowhere, we're like a rat trapped in a maze. Everyone all that I knock down, it's just a wall that I replace. A race against myself, I try to keep a steady pace. How the fuck will I escape if I never close my case? Gotta keep on stressing every second that I waste is another second sooner to a blessing I won't take. Therapist will tell me that I'm going through a phase. It's not a fucking stage, I just wanna feel okay. Okay, uh, now you got my attention. I need to change a couple things cause something was missing. What if I was to lie and tell you everything is fine every single fucking day? I get closer to the grave. I am terrified. Fell asleep at the wheel again. Crashed my car just to feel again. Little breaks need to sit to I am late. I'm about to break down. Later, I might sing this song a little bit louder. But I said I wanted to reimagine Popular Monster. I've reimagined it for my life. To love and now falling apart.
But right now, there's two babies inside this house, in this house that goes, and they're asleep. 7.30 in the morning. I don't want them awake yet, so I'm not going to... He's at the screamy part. I can't do the screamy part. I'll screw my voice all up again. I'm sick and tired of wandering, praying to a God that you don't believe, searching for the truth in the lost and found. It's all a question I ask. It's where the fuck is your God now? Oh, he's right here all around me. Well, he, she, they. Remember, I'm an agnostic. I believe in multiple faiths. I'm a liar, I'm a cheater, I'm a non-believer. Popular, popular, monster break down. Falling into love now, falling apart. I'm a popular, popular monster. You know, I really am a popular monster for a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all like to blame me for your shit. Let's fix this. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault I was born. Take that up with our parents. The one that is still here that you can. To any of my brothers that have a problem with me. It ain't my fault my dad died. Blame it on the hospital. They should have had a backup machine in that fucking... In that room, in that OR that day. They should have had a backup bypass machine. Knowing that that was a possibility. And if he was the only surgery scheduled at that time on between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Blame it on the hospital. It's actually still within reason that we can go back and sue. I might look into that. Because the more I think about it, the more I think it's fucked up that they didn't have a follow-up procedure. And that he had, that doctor had to hold my dad's new heart in his hand and squeeze it and pump it with his hand. Because they didn't have a backup machine. This was at a hospital in Columbus. This is at a teaching hospital at that. But I know they have resources. They had an extra machine. They, that's why the nurses ran out the room to go get it. Why the doctor held my dad's heart and pumped it. During a heart transplant. Why wouldn't you have a backup machine if you have a backup machine? And why wouldn't you have it close to your emergency room or your, uh, your operating room? Duh. So yeah, I might look into that one. Since my stepmom don't want to do that, and my, my stepbrother said fuck, every, fuck everybody since my dad passed. I mean, at least I guess they had enough respect for him that they stuck around long enough for him. But then as soon as he was gone, they cut their mom out. And it, that left it to me because my brothers don't talk to her either. The one that did talk to her while my dad was alive stopped talking to her. Oh, damn, that left it on baby sister again. Oh, but for my stepbrothers, I'm big sister. Keep leaving the shit on me. Like y'all had nothing in it. Nah, but you showed up that day he died, and you threw that fucking party, but it seemed more to me, and the reason I left early, for everybody to understand. Yeah, there was another party, and I could have canceled out on it. But the reason I left fucking early... Was because you weren't having a celebration of life for that man. You were dancing on his damn grave. Fuck all of y'all on that shit. And then now you want to be dicks and assholes and bitches to me? And not expect me to return it? Fuck you. If you say fuck you to me, then you better expect that I'm going to say fuck you back to you. Are we clear on this now? This is how it works. Imagine an infinity symbol. And everything you fucking give me, I'm giving right back to you. Because from this point forward, if you even step out of line one even single iota with me, knowing my boundaries, knowing my limits, then I am not responsible for the actions that I take upon you at this point anymore. Because after 39 years, and you all knowing my triggers, and you intentionally setting them off, to make me look like the crazy one when you guys are the manipulators, the liars, the thieves, the cheats. Yeah, Pam, everybody in the world knows you cheated on him multiple times. And now your husband wants to act like he has a fucking right to even ever say a damn bad word about Dan. 
He's God now. I can say my father's name, Reverend Danny Ray Cook. But what pisses me off is all of these fucking people who want to keep talking down about this man. This man separated himself from everybody like I'm doing, and you guys still attacked him. Like you are me. I'm leaving you the fuck alone, and yet I know how much miles are getting ran back home. Oh, that ain't my home. That's not where my heart is. That ain't where my love is. How can that ever feel like home when I, uh, the second that I get back there, my body starts reacting negatively. My ankles swell. I start feeling nauseous. I start getting dizzy. I got headaches. All, everything I haven't had since separating from that area, I don't, I, I just pulled out every one of my medications that I carry with me in case I need them that I haven't needed. I, I'm. I'm a little wound up right now because I, I was thinking about something that kind of upset me. Where you guys keep making me out to be the monster that you are making me. It's kind of hard to keep your calm all the fucking time when all you ever get is people making you feel like you ain't fucking good enough. So I left. You know, and I, I left, and I tell you, the people that up here who don't know my history, who don't know my past, but they could probably figure it out if you just look at me just a little bit. No, I don't have my bandanas on yet. Yet, they're in my bag. I, it's 7.30 in the morning, guys. I, the fact that I'm even dressed, the only reason I am is because I had to leave where I'm staying at to come to where the kids are at. She had to go to work. We got to take care of the mama. I got my up on the door the other day. I opened it to find it staring in my face. I feel my mortal sucker still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin just in case. That's how I feel about those medications. I had to take them everywhere I go, and I feel like I'm dragging a coffin with me because of the fact that I have to take these medications sometimes. Most of them are as, as needed now. Body's trembling, it's and shivers down my spine. Then the kicks and trips into overdrive. Secrets keep you sick, your lies keep you alive. They sing us every single time you roll with crooked dice. Naughty smell those nuts, it tries to pull me down. The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house. I just with my pots off, took the hands up down. Running from my past on their feet, don't fail me now. I've lost my goddamn mind. It happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Trying to consume the drug in me is you. And I'm so high on misery. Can't you see? I told you some people think the rain is miserable. I'm sitting out here, my pants are wet, but see, I brought a change of clothes. Questions always running through my head. So many things that I would like to understand. If we're all born to die and we all die to live, then what's the point of living life if it just contradicts? Felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down. The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house. I wrestled with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt. Running from my past, I'm praying, feet don't fail me now. I've lost my goddamn mind. It happens all the time. Now see, he's already reimagined this song. This is the upbeat version to it. The Rocky version. And he's reimagined this version already. To be. The drug in me is you. And I'm so high on misery. Can't you see? And, and there's only a little bit in the tempo, and he's got piano in the other one, and this one's guitars and, and drums, and, and both of them he screams. I've lost myself. You try to reach me, but you just can't help me. So long. Goodbye. You try to say me it won't work this time, cause now I've lost my cutting mark. Sorry. He's trying not to say that word, Ronnie. Leave I'm actually meant to be Trying to consume The drug in me is you I'm so high on misery Can't you see? 
Well, but I am going to go ahead and get off here. It's been about 15 minutes into this video. I'm done for the morning. Well, I'm done talking for the morning to you guys. These babies are going to be waking up soon. I'm going to enjoy the last little bit of quiet I'm going to have for most of the day. I'm sure they'll take a nap at some point. But I'm just going to be having to do breakfast orders and occupy them because it is raining. And I can't take them to the park like I planned on. So I'm going to have to find something else to keep them off those tablets. Well, the older one off the tablet. The baby. The baby don't care about the tablet. The baby probably wouldn't be coming out here running, playing in the rain. She playing in the, in the sprinkler the other night. It was adorable. I mean, how often do you see kids playing in sprinklers anymore? I've loved it. Lo loved it. Everybody bends to feel the need. Everybody who's mocked in their own curse. I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone in this. Deep inside, I know that I am worth not on my own. I do know what I'm worth. Should have been much worse, but it should have been better. And it should have been. I hurt you, deserted you. Now I see it better. I hold you close, tighter, cause I knew you disappeared. I just can't compromise, apologize, there's nothing you can say. We both knew it would always end this way. For a lot of us, we all knew I wasn't going to stay. I said I wanted out of that fucking state. I keep seeing these posts about, I, I've sold my, you know, you guys can talk about my past all you want. I don't live there no more. I'm casting my stones. I'm getting rid of them. If y'all want to stay in my past, well, have fun. It wasn't a fun place for me. I didn't enjoy it. I do plan to go make a fabulous future. I wanted a lot of you to join me in it. Some of you still can. No, I see. I pulled you closer. It's I here. Cause I knew you'd disappear. See, that's the lovely thing about life that we gotta figure out and that a lot of us haven't just haven't figured out. Literally nothing in life is permanent. Not where you live. I mean, occasionally you find those people who have lived in the same house for 50 years, 100 years, you know, their families have owned this property. I mean, and that's my plan is to eventually own a piece of property that I can put a couple houses on that my kids and my grandkids and years down. I don't want just a piece of property with one house. I want a piece of property with a few houses, but I want them spread out, you know, so we can all have our freedom. We can all be who we are without in treating on somebody else. Ain't that the American way? Be free, but you don't push your shit on anybody else. Now, see, I'm like I said, I have multiple belief systems. I believe in whatever gives me faith and hope. And whether that be God, Zeus, Ra, well, Ra, the sun god. Oh, the sun definitely gives me faith and hope. Because every day it comes up, and at some point in time today, I'm hoping it's going to peek through. And it looks like this one set of clouds right here is starting to open up. So, I mean, these, these clouds might thin out. These thunderstorms they call for on and off today might go away. I might get to see that sun shine today. You guys can tell I've been out in a whole lot. My skin color is tan. It would always end this. Way. Well, on that note, I love you. I love you. Thank you. I am sorry that it wasn't enough. Please forgive me. Maybe one day we can all be together. Maybe. It's a nice dream, but I do have some really fucking big dreams. 
see if I can make them come to fruition. I think that's the word, right? Fruition, fruition, fruition. Ah, semantics. You say tomato, I say tomato. I, I say tomato and tomato. Caramel, caramel. I also see the sunshine and the moon, and they are exact opposite. One is out during the day, and one is out during at night. And the only reason you see the one at night is because the one during the day is reflecting off of it. You need them both. Between them, them between. But you guys have a lovely day. Rain or not, I'm going to go find some joy. Little Miss Sunshine's inside. She is a little ray of sunshine. Plus, of course. Hold on. Come here, Jack. Come here, baby. We can't forget the Jack. Now, can we? I get to spend the day with my puppy. Can't forget the Jack. Anyone above you? Kind of is lonely up here looking down. I mean, I'm not Miss Majesty. I'm just some little old lonely chick from Lynchburg, Virginia. Got moved to Ohio. Moved around all over the place. I, I've lost count at like 25 places. And at this point, I just don't even count anymore. I've lived in a lot of places. I've lived in Ohio, or Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Now I'm up here in Michigan. If you want to call this is where I'm living at. I'm definitely living. I'm not sitting on a couch no more. I might be sitting in this chair outside, but I would be out walking around right now if it wasn't freaking raining. And technology doesn't like the water. Got to keep it safe if that's what I'm going to use to talk to you guys. Oh, two, 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 two. Mm. Gotta love those numbers. Love them. Mm. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.